Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about two tropical storms that will be making big impacts across the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the United States. If we're going to just like to ask you to subscribe, but 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button for weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Let's get right into this. National Hurricane Center has two tropical depressions right now, Tropical Depression 7, which will become Grace very soon, and Tropical Depression Fred, which will be strengthened back into Tropical Storm Fred very soon. This is the path for Tropical Depression Fred. It's expected to re-strengthen back into a tropical storm around 2 p.m. on Saturday, just west of the Florida Keys, where there are tropical storm warnings in effect. It will then make another landfall, on the Panhandle of Florida, somewhere between Mississippi and the Panhandle of Florida, with that cone of uncertainty there. And it will rapidly weaken, once it does make impacts on land, into a depression, and then a post-tropical depression. This is the flash flooding potential at this time. Areas in the yellow have the greatest chance for flash flooding, with a slight risk for flash flooding, which is a 10%. Areas in the green are at lesser risk of flooding. This is the path for Tropical Depression 7, which will become Tropical Storm Grace very soon. It is expected to make impacts on Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba. Basically, everything that Fred impacted will get impacted again by Grace. Tropical Storm watches are in effect portions of Puerto Rico, and U.S. impacts appear likely into the future by around Wednesday. This is intensity guidance for Tropical Depression 7, which will become Grace. And you can see every model has become a tropical storm. It will be named. It will become a tropical storm. However, only a couple models do have it reaching hurricane status. One reaching major hurricane status, which is very unlikely. But it is not out of the realm of possibilities that it could briefly sustain Category 1 status. And these are the potential paths this system could take. And you can see it gets pretty spread out around the Dominican Republic, with some tracks having it directly impacting the Bahamas and going towards the Carolinas, and others going south of Cuba and into the Gulf. That's just another forecast for these two tropical storms. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.